Hello everyone, Avar here once again, and in this tutorially awesome episode of AV Archivist, we'll be discussing the importance of setting up pause in Rocket Launcher. Try to play a lot of older games, and you're going to run into a problem in that it's really hard to tell just what the hell is going on. I don't even know what I'm doing! The technology at the time didn't allow for complex or clear visuals, and the objectives and rules are often confusing. It's pretty hard to convey anything with giant multicolored pixels. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. This is where pause comes in. With the press of a button, you can have full access to scans of all the game's physical media, including manuals. It also features a well-written scrolling overview of the game's objectives and elements. And this isn't just important for extremely old games. Plenty of newer titles have novella-length documentation. Just off the top of my head, I can think of Warhammer's Shadow of the Horn Rat and Homeworld Remastered games as prime examples. Now, Pause comes pre-configured in Rocket Launcher, so this is really more of a public service announcement than a tutorial. Regardless, to get the most out of it, you'll want to go into Rocket Launcher UI and make sure your buttons are set up and that Pause is enabled. Then all that's left to do is to head on over to emumovies.com, where you'll find that every system available in downloads is a section dedicated to Rocket Launcher Media. Simply extract these sets to your personal Rocket Launcher slash media folder and you're good to go. You can place any custom media you may have in these folders as well. Just be sure to match the system name exactly, as with all things. Pause's pre-config is polished, but it's an extremely customizable utility, so it's worth exploring each of the settings and getting it just how you like it. My personal favorite feature is the ability to set per-system music playlists to complement your pause menu with appropriately funky beats. I hope you've enjoyed this short PSA on Rocket Launcher's pause functionality. For more tutorially awesome, I encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. And as my way of thanking you for your support, I've included my personal set of widescreen compatible genre backgrounds to match Hyperspin's Mint Genre XML sets. Hope to see you again and have a great day.